Google Technology Center offers 21 programs of study that vary from plumbing technology to emerging health professionals. With two campuses based in Marlin and Frackville, PA, STC is sure to offer a variety of career paths for student learners. Aside from a strong and positive school culture, STC is proud to participate in competitive organizations such as Skills USA, HOSA, and DECA. Throughout this video, you will see inside of our programs and hear from some of our students and their experiences here at the Schuylkill Technology Center. I chose the automotive program because I grew up on a farm and stuff was always breaking down and automotive is a good skill to learn. The average day in automotive is basically a lot of hands-on work, but there is some class work and it's really good, especially if you're not good in the class. There's a lot of hands-on. We bring in vehicles and a lot of people help each other. And some things we work on in automotive are oil changes, tire mounting and rotation, rebuilding engines, braking systems, alignments, engine diagnostics, and some electrical. Automotive technology prepared me for the automotive field because they run the shop like an actual garage and there's a lot of hands-on work and not everything trains you just to be a mechanic. It's also if you want to be a service advisor or a coordinator for parts. Food's a necessity and so I've always been interested in cooking and baking. In a fully equipped commercial kitchen, students develop skills in baking, meal preparation, and menu planning. Some of my favorite events at STC are the yearly craft show and open house. These events bring in so many new faces to our school. As a culinary student, we are able to prepare and sell food to the public at these events. And all around, they are great days for the community. It prepared me by being ready to handle a fast-paced setting. My plan after STC is to attend a business course and open my own food truck. We mainly work on heavy trucks, but we also work on cars. Some of the things we work on on the heavy trucks are braking systems, cooling systems, engine diagnostics, tire mounting and installation, suspension, and electrical work. At first, it was scary going in with all boys, but once I got there, I eventually became friends with all of them, and it's been great ever since. I love being in diesel, and I love working on trucks. The preschool that we run, we do different things, preparing them for kindergarten and elementary school, different worksheets. They learn how to write numbers, letters, trace their names. We do different topics every week, such as animals, really anything under the sun that we can teach them about. We do different activities with them, such as uh, tie-dyeing. We bake different foods on the national food days. We do things like trick or treat, Christmas, Secret Santa, Easter egg hunts, things like that. We have OSHA certifications, we get those our level one year, um, along with mandated reporter. We do different uh, courses such as home and center-based care. I'm in the electromechanical program. We work on residential wiring, fixing and troubleshooting machinery, wiring industrial electrical systems, hydraulics, PLCs, and more. We get our NOGTI certification once we graduate. We get our OSHA 10 for safety in the workplace. We work on things like taking things apart, putting them back together again. We work on robotics for things like manufacturing. We work on residential wiring at first. And then as you go to your level two year, you do ladder logics, things like relays, which are electromechanical switching devices. You get into motor controls, then after that you get into your VFDs, which is like, it varies the speed of a motor. And then you get into things like PLCs, which is a little more complicated. I'm in the residential industrial electricity shop. In my program, we learn how to wire switches, outlets, panel boxes, and various fixtures, as well as being able to calculate electrical capacity. We also touch on commercial and industrial, such as conduit and motor controls. Students in my shop have many options after graduation, such as going right into the workforce, a post-secondary education, joining the union, or even the military. At a young age, I was introduced to collision repair due to my father having a shop. I didn't let gender define the program of my choice. I allowed myself to put all my potential and thoughts into my career pathway. In the collision repair program, we also learn welding, painting, refresh painting. We also do many things such as sanding with DAs, and we also work with many other tools that will provide us more education. Our SDC Car Show is a great community event. Students in numerous shops build trophies. Our culinary students operate our SDC food truck. There are tons of classic and custom cars and all around it's just a great and fun event.
I've always liked working hands-on and the masonry trade is a very hands-on work. The beginning students in the program, they'll start off by learning the basic hand tools in masonry. As you progress in masonry, you'll start using related power tools such as mortar mixers, hammer drills, and masonry demolition saws. I'd like to advance my career path and to be a bricklayer. Such jobs in the bricklayers union could be a foreman, project managers, estimators, job site superintendents, and construction company owners. Some of the materials we use are concrete, concrete block, brick, stone, and tile. In the business and marketing program here at SCC, we learn a lot of basic elements in marketing. So for example, the seven functions, the marketing mix, things like selling, advertising, promoting, and designing. We actually do a lot of the designs for posters, for a lot of community events in the school and around the community. Something else we do in the shop is run an in-store market. So what we do is we print decals, put them on clothing, things like hats, sweatpants, t-shirts, hoodies, and we sell them to the school for STC merchandise. And what that teaches us is a lot of selling, customer service, distribution, purchasing, and a lot of other necessary things you need in order to run your own business in the future or to contribute to other businesses. DECA is the Competitive Business Conference Club here at the Business and Marketing Program and it means a lot to these students. What basically happens is you go out and you compete against a lot of other kids and there's three levels, districts, states, and nationals. Last year when I competed in districts, I placed first place in apparel and accessories. At states, I placed third place, which means I was a national competitor. I did learn a lot of valuable lessons and along the way, I also got to experience some great things, meet some great people, and I've grown a lot from this experience both personally and professionally. We start off in our carpentry program learning basic hand tools and at the end of the year eventually blueprint reading. By our level two year we start building small scale houses and by level three year we move up to building moderate size houses that are scaled down real world houses. We learn how to use various tools, we learn safety practices, blueprint reading, we learn skills from framing to roofing to cabinetry. After SDC, I plan to use the essential skills that I learned to build spec homes and continue in the construction field. The Heating, Ventilation, and Air Conditioning Program, also known as HVAC, prepares students to install, troubleshoot, and repair various types of heating and cooling systems. Students learn to work heat pumps, gas-efficient furnaces, oil-fired furnaces, gas and oil burners, as well as general electric skills. Students will earn the OSHA 10 and EPA 608 certifications. It helps me to get ahead of the program whenever I graduate from here and I'm able to go and get a job right after. Much less time spent on training and I know a lot of distribution centers are looking for that. We learn about receiving purchase orders, pick orders, putting away pallets, practice on the forklift simulator, and then when we're ready we will get forklift certified. I chose the plumbing program here because I knew that by completing this and doing well, I would never be out of a job and I've always wanted to help people with this. In the plumbing program, I've learned the basics on hand tools, power tools, different pipes, how they're connected. I've learned about appliances from toilets, how, they're, how they work, how they get installed, sinks, boilers, water heaters, sub pumps, and everything that you'd find in your house. Coming out of the program, you can work at an entry-level position such as a CNA, but other than that, you can continue your education to become an LPN or an RN or even a radiology technician. Some of the skills that we may work on would be things such as hand washing, bed to wheelchair transfers, phlebotomy, drawing blood and giving injections. Other big ones are vital signs. In our shop, we can get certified for CPR, first aid, stop the bleed, and we also get our 10-hour OSHA certification. As a member of Skills USA, I have competed on both the district and the state levels, and honestly, that was just an amazing experience to get to have because being around other students that get, want to do exactly what you do, it's just awesome to see, honestly. And even better if you place because it's almost a confirmation of everything you've done and all the work that you've put in. My first year doing skills competitions, I placed third at districts, and then my second year, I placed first and went to states. 
My name is Allie Undercuffler. My name is Addison Carney. We are enrolled in the Emerging Health Professional Program at STC. Our program is partnered with Penn State Schuylkill, St. Luke's Miners, Geisinger St. Luke's, and Lehigh Valley Health Networks, as well as other various medical facilities. Our students will spend two half days a week with Penn State faculty for lecture and lab. The other days are spent at STC North Campus for health curriculum taught by the STC instructor. Eventually, you will branch out into the field for the shadowing portion. We focus on learning body mechanics, terminology, how to help patients. Since a young age, I've always wanted to go into the health profession. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do, and I know this program would help me out, find what path I wanted to go through, and the curriculum being taught is amazing. HOSA, which stands for Health Occupations Students of America, is an international student organization to promote careers in healthcare. As a member of HOSA, we have the opportunity to compete with other healthcare students nationwide. I am in the cosmetology program. A day in the cosmetology program varies. Sometimes we're learning things such as hair cutting, coloring, perms, and hair texturizing. Other days we also learn about like app nail applications and facials. Once I graduate from the STC school, I can go right into the workforce because I can study for my state board while I am still in school. I like coming to STC because it gives me a lot of great opportunities for my life after high school, such as getting my license while I'm still here. I still have opportunities opportunities to work and I'm still also able to go to a regular high school just like other kids. It's a great opportunity to be here because I get to meet so many different people from all around the different schools and I also get to meet people that are going to school for the same thing that I want to go to school for. I'm a part of the computer information shop. Probably going to go off to college for my bachelor's degree in computer information science or cybersecurity because I know that Later on, I'm going to have a bunch of job opportunities because this field is going to always keep evolving with artificial intelligence and the new programs releasing. My career goals are to go into the cybersecurity field because I know with evolving technology, especially with uh, artificial intelligence and programs like that, that that field's not going to get outdated and it's just going to have to keep evolving and won't run out of job opportunities. I joined the criminal justice program to prepare me for the police academy, which includes different aspects of policing, probation and parole, and we even go as far as doing physical training, which include running, sit-ups, and push-ups. The uniform we wear at Tech includes our polo, khakis, and duty belt. And on our duty belt, we carry a baton, a pepper spray holder, a handcuff case, and a simulated pistol. The items on our duty belt we earned during our use of first training. STC made it very accommodating for me to still take my classes here and go to homeschool and play volleyball. I know a lot of people that uh, applied but did not get accepted. The wait list is very long for this one. I was very fortunate to get in here. I gave it a shot one day and I thought it was, uh, I thought it was interesting so I uh, applied when I was in high school. Thought it would be a good, uh, good way to learn and now we're here. We get our NOCD uh, certification. We also get our OSHA 10 and our AWS. One day I would like to open up my own uh, welding shop here. I was very fortunate to uh, join our co-op program and we get paid to go out and work and gain real world experiences out in the field. I chose precision machining because ever since I was little, I just wanted to make things. I wanted to make stuff out of various materials. I wanted to make something out of nothing. In the Precision Machining Technology program, students learn to work with steel, aluminum, and plastic to solve complex engineering problems. If you dream it, the students in Precision Machining can machine it. I plan to use these skills when I continue my education at Thaddeus Stevens College of Technology. I'm enrolled in outdoor power technology at STC North. I wanted to learn the basic like functions of an engine and like the basic steps to like fix and repair engines and service a lot of stuff. We work on from dirt bikes to lawnmowers to zero turns, ATVs, weed whackers, pretty much anything that has gas and will run. I think the culture is very good. We have different things we can do here. 
My favorite STC event is a Spring Fling event. It's just a really great event and it brings all your friends and stuff to one place and you can just see them and have fun. Some of my favorite events are Trunk or Treat and that we get cars and then we put them out in the parking lot and then we have a bunch of kids come and they get candy, which is also great. And another one of my favorite things is the Spring Fling. So we all get to dress up and get ready and then we go and we dance and we have a great night with everybody in both schools. STC has a competitive esports team. They compete locally and regionally in competitive gaming. Being at STC doesn't really mess up your sports at all. You can get back with plenty of time to get ready and you're still in track with all the things that you're doing. I did not find the transition to be difficult because even if homeschool has a pep rally or a special event or if I have a swim meet or a baseball game, I'll still be able to get back there in time and still be a part of my school and be part of STC at the same time.